Now, David Ross is one of the richest men in the East Midlands. He's worth billions and lives in Market Harbour. He's been using his cash to help make a difference to the lives of young people, including getting them interested in opera. Malvin de Sidhu reports. His house boasts 90 rooms. He's reported to be the fifth richest person in the East Midlands. David Ross is a businessman turned philanthropist. He set up his own business, the Carphone Warehouse, when he was just 25 years old. My father and my grandfather and before him and my great-grandfather had all been entrepreneurs. And it was always what I imagined I would do with my life. And I remember from a very early age at school knowing that really what I wanted to do was go into business and to, to work for myself. Every summer, the sounds of opera can be heard in the town of Market Harbour, thanks to David, who set up Neville Holt Opera within his estate. It's an organisation that supports local children. I think houses like this benefit from having people uh, coming here. I think they benefit from, from being brought alive by having lots of people here. Through the Neville Holt Opera, we're able to give the, the, the best of young British talent the opportunity to come here and gives young people who want to become professional singers their first sort of chance in the real world. Each year over 200 tickets are made available to children who would otherwise not have access to such a high class, enriching and wonderful experience of opera. David has also invested in academy schools across the region. I do think that from a national agenda point of view, giving more young children the opportunity to have a good education and to benefit from a good education uh, is a great thing for us to do and it's also an important thing for us to do. Who died, was buried and rose again for us. In March this year, the region hosted a historic event, the reburial of King Richard III. David gave £250,000 of his hard-earned money towards it. I thought it was something that we should be proud of and could be proud of and therefore uh, when I was talking to uh, Bishop Tim uh, about his plans. I was very impressed by the scale of the as aspiration and ambition that he showed for the region and for his community in trying to put that together and I wanted to support him in that objective. And as David celebrates his 50th birthday later this month, there are no plans for an early retirement. Balvin de Sidhu for ITV News.